Hey, all you jazz fans out there in the night, this is the Reverend Jimmy Rudolph coming at you live. Uh, the Reverend? Says who? Jamie Bogart fans, my unenlightened right into hand, who's yet to open her eyes and take in the new addition to our decor here at the historic Tribeca Studios in New York City, the greatest city in the world. What, the new diploma on your vanity wall? Oh, like I'd have a diploma. <laughs> okay, I know why I find that funny. That is a degree in divinity, freshly downloaded this morning from DeVry Divinity, proclaiming yours truly, Jimmy Rudolph, officially holier than thou. Oh, got any followers, Jimmy? Non-zombie followers, You're missing I mean. a big picture, j -Bo. From here on out, when the fucking, I mean the blessed and forgiving Mormons try to baptize me, railroading me into their Mormon heaven, I can rebaptize myself back into the Church of Jazz. And my baptism ceremony involves scotch. I baptize daily. I'm baptizing right now. <laughs> On these rocks you build your church, huh? Why are you so cynical this morning? Well, because while you're freaking out about which heaven you're going to, I'm stuck in a primordial, inescapable torture filled with terror and hopeless, hellish despair. Uh-oh, apartment problems, huh? Zombie rats in the walls, zombie sludge in the pipes, and did you know there are zombie roaches now? You turn on the light and instead of scurrying away, they just slowly crawl towards you. And you can't squish them, you have to tweezer their heads off one at a time. If I paid rent, I'd be outraged. Oh, I didn't know things are so terrible, j -Bo. Hey, I know a guy can help you out. Well, thanks, Jimmy. Does he have an apartment or a spare room? Better yet, he's got soul. Sax King, Benny Carter. Oh, Jesus. Thanks, Jimmy. Suddenly, my apartment doesn't seem so bad. You're welcome, my child. Just leave a little something in the collection plate. Fans, New York's been seen better days. After the zombification of Times Square, followed by the zombification of the Upper West Side, Columbia, Harlem, and bits of the Bronx, things look bleak. But you have to hit bottom before you bounce back, and the Big Apple is on the rebound. With the zombie fog, either inhaled or pushed out to sea, it is all clear on the streets of New York. All clear? There are more zombies than ever. Yeah, but at least we can see them coming. And that's not all you can see. The rebuilt Times Square has its legs spread open for business with the new Krill Memorial at the convergence of 7th and 40 Deuce, commemorating the late spearhead of the redevelopment campaign and the construction workers that she killed. A bronze bust of Ms. Krill shellacked with brain juice and planted in the plaza, surrounded by the zombified heads of seven construction workers who will snap hungrily until their radioactive half-life wears off, in about 197 years. Hey, check it out, but keep your distance. This exhibit is interactive, as they say. They also have a video monitor repeating a loop of our own Melissa Moline tearing Krill to shreds, which is nice. Back after this. Denny's, we're what's cooking. Tired of the zombie Monday blahs? We've got the cure for that infection. Three silver dollar pancakes made with certified zombie-free batter, fresh eggs from zombie quarantine chicken, and delicious link sausage made without zombie meat, just good old wholesome filler. Bring in your certified zombie kill certificate and get a free orange juice. Orange juice may contain zombie juice. Denny's, zombie-free for two days.